Parents, if your student is private on social media, can colleges still see them? Well, the answer is yes. We're gonna talk about that important topic and four other topics in this short video that teaches you how to be public and positive on social media so you can talk with your kids and hopefully worry less about them online. So here we go. First of all, yes, each year there's thousands of big consequences for those involved in a social media mistake. In 2017, Harvard rescinded offers for at least 10 students over their behavior in a private Facebook group. And Justine Sacco, a senior director of corporate communications, posted a careless tweet that became a trending hashtag and got her fired in just a few hours. Now, years later, her online presence is still dominated by one mistake she made on social media. So yes, even a private account, colleges can find and see. Well, how do I teach my kids to make wise decisions on social media? Great question. Instead of banning social media, teach your children how to use it as an extension of their student resume. When you're ready for them to be public, help them find two to three things that they want to be known for when colleges or future employers search for them online. And scratch that, when they're in middle school do this, not when you're ready, uh, when they're in middle school, you've got to figure out what are those two to three things. It's too late to do this in high school, junior year. For example, sports, art, writing, photography, volunteering, tutoring, activities, etc. Encourage your kids to spend time offline doing the two to three activities they want to be known for and take positive pictures to share on social media. Teach your kids to ask themselves if what they're about to post follow these guidelines. Is the post a positive representation of who they want to be and see, be seen to colleges? Would they be proud to show this to their dream college or dream coach someday? And does the caption express gratitude or positivity? Those are the two secret ingredients that really keep people out of trouble, in our opinion. Now, is my child safe on Instagram if their account is private? Great question. No, having your child's Instagram private does not protect them from receiving direct messages from strangers or having their private posts shared on other platforms or through text messaging. You see, a private account still becomes very public. It's a long story, but you need to be really careful. It's okay to be private, and we do suggest it for younger students, but make sure parents are on the same apps as their students following the students, right? If your student's on Instagram, you gotta be on Instagram. And that students are using Instagram as a portfolio of positive activities and accomplishments and that colleges can someday see what they're doing online in a positive way. Now, does my student really need to be on social media? Well, your middle school child already has a digital footprint, even if they've never used social media. You gotta go to Google, follow, I'll show you on the next page, how to find out what their footprint is. One of the best ways to create a positive footprint is to brand your student on a website and then use social media as an extension of that website. When your student is in middle school, consider working with them to create a personal website. This is what we do at Smart Social in our community that showcases their top two to three activities, projects, and or passions that help them brand them in a fun way for colleges. Then turn their social media or their social media will become an extension of their website and will be full of purpose instead of just being a pastime without a plan. Encourage your teen to post positive photos that highlight their accomplishments and college and career your goals. A lot of people are afraid of the web. They're afraid of being public, but their kids are already totally public. And if you, if you, you, the adult, if you Google yourself, your home address and your cell phone number are already public online. So what we tell parents and students is why not put something good out there that has less information that comes up first so that anything bad gets hidden and pushed down. So it's really important to do that. Now, how can I teach my teen to think before they post on social media? Talk to your student about their dream college and career. That's number one, get them planning for their future. Number two, remind your student everything they post or send will be seen by their best friend, their favorite teacher, dream college, future boss, and mother. <laughs> if they don't want one of those people to see what they're posting, don't post it, even on a spam account. Teach your teen to avoid posting online when they're upset. Perfectly fine to text somebody that you love and call somebody and in person. Is it a text or is it an Instagram post? It's probably a text or it's probably talking with somebody. Perfectly fine to be upset, but we need to get them onto a different medium. Encourage your teen to consider the impact this post could have or how it could affect their reputation a decade from now.
and help your teen find two to three things that they want to be known for when future colleges or employers search for them online and then encourage them to post about these positive activities on their social media. It's gonna be easier for them to judge whether the post will help build their digital footprint or harm their reputation. I can't tell you enough that most of the time people give their kids a phone without a plan, without a purpose, and so it becomes a pastime and there's no rules. And even if you say rules, like don't do this, don't do that, there's going to be a hundred other things that you're going to need to say no to, but if you just visit a college, plan a career, figure that out, and we want to help you build a website. I know it's crazy, but I got moms all over the country that say, I developed a better reputation with my kids after this website process, our little academy. So I want to tell you about our free webinar that you can take. We update it all the time, how to navigate the negative effects of students' social media and help your students shine online. It's going to show you the top seven apps that you can avoid, what kids are doing online, how to get kids off their screens, how to be positive online. It's got all kinds of other stuff. I even have a conference that I host each every quarter. It's called the Smart Social Parent Conference. It's a live event with Q&A. If it's already passed, we've got another one coming up. Every app your kids have on their phone, what your kids, who their kids are talking to online, get ahead of your kids on social media, and we motivate your kids to maintain a positive social media footprint to protect your family. Now, if you join us for 10 bucks a month or 15 bucks a month, you get access to all of this stuff for free. It's all included in your membership. We make sure that you build a positive online footprint. We give you the soft skills, the safety skills, and the shine online skills to really protect your family, and we become a part of that village that's gonna protect your family and wrap around your family to make sure you have wise judgment and make sure your kids are having fun. I'm Josh Oaks. Thanks so much. Click the links below to join us with our next webinar or become a member and we will make sure that you're protected. Have a great day.